I definitely think that's a confidence builder for Ohio. Um, our team came out and we were we expected to dominate and we went out there and every guy wrestled seven minutes and uh, we came out on top. I think I came out and I was aggressive and you know a, a kid caught me off guard. He was a little stronger, more explosive than I had anticipated and got some early takedowns. But you know I knew if I kept pushing the pace that things were going to go my way. And, um, that's why we wrestle seven minutes. We don't wrestle two minutes or three minutes. And... It was fun to watch Fittery. You know, I think that was. I don't know. I thought that was very enjoyable to watch, you know, because that's just the way he is. He never stops, and it, you know, you, you come to expect it now. You see him, you know, get taken down a couple times in the beginning. And nobody breaks a sweat over it because he's just going to keep wrestling, and most other people aren't capable of keeping up with that kind of tempo. I uh, just went through a string of a couple of losses here, and I think it was mostly just I wasn't feeling great, you know, a little injury. Coming back, my priority was. You know, don't think about that. Don't worry about how I've been feeling. So this time I went out and kind of just relaxed, let my arms drop a little bit, and uh, I mean, it showed. I, I felt like I looked relaxed, you know. I'm sure people thought I looked relaxed, and I think that made a big difference for me so that I could focus on my technique instead of trying to, like, muscle stuff, you know. Ghana wrestled a great match. He was uh, real solid the whole time, and his throw at the end, uh, his positioning is fantastic. And he didn't make mistakes like I did, you know. He's... He's a real solid wrestler, and that's you know that's good for me to see and try to mimic. Yeah, Ghana looked really good. I think uh, he doesn't always go out and try and score all the time. This time he, you know, put it on the kid. He got on top and just turned him over and over. He just looks like very comfortable, very, more comfortable on top than he has in a little while. Tanner finally found a way to win. You know, he's uh, he's stepping it up, and he's definitely going to make some big noise by the time he's out of AU. Tom looked really good. I think he could have beat, potentially beaten that kid by a lot more, but we're working on taking him down and turning him, you know, and Tom was taking him down at, at will. And I think he could have, like I said, beaten him by much more than he did, but he looked really good. Um, I feel good. It's been a good season for me so far. You know, I'm just trying to finish my career like I started it, and that's just by wrestling hard and having fun. You know, I, I don't plan on changing anything in these last two months, and um, I'm excited for the grand finale. It's in Philly. It's in my home state, and um, I'm excited to make it you know, like a miracle story come true. Rankings don't mean a thing. Um, if there's only six or seven of us that are ranked, it doesn't matter because we can all do something because we're all in the room working our tails off and everyone wants the same thing at the end of the year. So whether I'm number one or number 30 or whether Fittery's number one or number 30, it makes no difference to any of us because come the end of the year, we're all gonna be ready. When everyone else is tired, when everyone else has had enough, when everyone else has injuries, we're gonna be fresh because we all trust in what Cody's teaching us. And that, that's a bigger deal to me than a couple of us, you know, being, having numbers next to our name.